Triggerville Pike uh, from Aldi, Virginia to the western part of Loudoun and uh, it starts at right around Route 50 on Aldi and ends up in western Loudoun on Route 7 and it is a picturesque drive uh, somewhat of a historical road also one of um, the earliest known toll roads commissioned by Thomas Jefferson uh, there were three different tolls on this road and uh, that must have been a pain in the ass to ride this thing and get told three times it's kind of like going through Delaware on 95 it's ridiculous you know so so you know that was the prelude to going up uh, route 95 through Maryland and Delaware hitting all the toll booths you know I wonder if they had the same problem back then everybody stacking up at the toll gates you know looking for uh, the proper coins and cash you know, trying to barter with them. Like, I got a pewter pot, man. I ain't got no coins on me. Can I get through the toll, please? I just got to go a mile up the road. There's no way to get around it. You know, that, uh, that type of crap going up 95, hitting all those damn toll roads. And, uh, bad part is it's only getting worse, at least around other parts of the country, when they want to build a inner county connector, <coughs> Maryland and uh, charge out the rear end just to drive it kind of like oh boy the dullest greenway and uh, you know it's ridiculous but once again sorry for the rant I am on Snickerville Turnpike uh, it's a pretty drive and actually uh, I used to fish a lot of well not a lot but just a couple ponds back to here in my uh, early 20s with a friend of mine we used to just literally would stop and I know some people out there are gonna be like man dude you're trespassing yes we did but a lot of times <laughs> we would stop the car we wouldn't hide it we would jump the fence and go fish these ponds on these properties and uh, as we we're walking to the pond somebody might be bush hogging or cutting the grass or something and uh, just throw the old arm up to wave and a lot of times we just get to wave back and several occasions uh, we would uh, get some type of you know they would stop by ask how we were doing and all this stuff and I do not know what that guy is doing Mountville let's see how they get the name Mountville was there a possible you know maybe some old Indian mount mound back here. That's usually how those names come about. It is a uh, several little towns through here. It's pretty cool. Uh, a lot of beautiful properties which uh, I can't afford. And I always wanted to stop over here on your left hand side if you get a quick look. One of these days, I'll stop by here and it's an old abandoned store right there. Pretty cool, pretty pretty cool. These are the uh, this is Western Loudon. Uh, they're either family owned and they've been passed down, uh, or it's just you know people with money have moved in with the uh, technology sector here in this area have kind of moved out here still a lot of horses a lot of horse farms and uh, yeah uh, anybody who's watching this I am definitely trying to get a better camera mount because uh, this thing bounces too much. Drives me nuts. So this is actually, a, it's Memorial Day. I'm on my way home from work. Oh, roadkill. Oh yes, delicious. 
and this uh, this little bridge was replaced a while back. It used to be, I think, or at least a, a part of it was redone. Wee! Hibbs Bridge. That's what's called Hibbs Bridge. Look at that buzzard. You see the buzzard up in the uh, power lines there? Pretty nice, yeah. We used to try to use this road as a shortcut, but if you got caught behind one car, that was it, 45 the whole way. Well, I'm doing 45 now, so I guess I'm the one car now that everybody gets caught behind, but there is nobody behind me. You used to try to fly down this road because it was, it, it, if you could really fly down this road, it was actually, it's a very quick shortcut to go over to that part of Route 50 and Aldi when you're trying to head south. But, uh, the police like to patrol it because it's an easy ticket. A lot of people still try to do that, fly up and down this damn road. Speed limit 30. Coming up, there it is. was uh I think what's out here is Bluemont, Philmont and uh you had some uh pretty popular celebs possibly still do or uh at one point lived out through this way I'm not 100% sure. I just heard rumors of this, but I'm not even going to say who. Because I'm not even sure if that was, uh, if I'm 100% on that or if they're even still in the area. Over here, this is Philmont. Look at that picturesque little country store. That is pretty. Philmont General Store. I don't believe it really ops or operates as a general store too much anymore. It may, I don't know. I have never been in there in a many a years. Cutting grass, man. Just cutting grass. Yes, indeed, it's bouncing. Yeah, I like to take this road when I'm not in a hurry. Uh, and I don't really take it to work. It's kind of, uh, it's not necessarily that this road would be, <laughs> would be uh, any problem, but once you get on Route 50 and around A Market, I have to travel from point A in West Virginia to point B in Manassas and that little intersection there which they're trying to work on in Haymarket to get on 66 can be a bit of a cluster. And what do we got in front of us here? Let me speed up. purple it's a purple beast I can't tell what it is I don't see any emblems on the back but it's an old car 